Hey everyone, Nick here. I'm going to do a series of videos about how I made this line chart here. And this is visualizing our museum attendance over the last 20 years. There are a couple cool things that I really like about this chart that I hope you incorporate into your own charts. So the first thing is this really descriptive title. We have a great catching headline and then a subtitle that gives a little more information. If I was one of your readers and I didn't even want to look at your chart, I would still get the point of your data visualization right from this great descriptive headline. The other thing I really like is the fact that I've only labeled some key pieces of data here. You don't need to have every single piece of data labeled because who cares what 2021 or who cares what 2001, 2002, 2003 was when I'm really wanting to highlight this big increase here to our highest attendance year all the way to our fall during COVID-19. So I've, in, I've really only labeled strategically the pieces of data that I want to draw your eyes to. And that happens to be 2010 because that's the first year that we started consistently being above average, then our highest attendance year, our lowest attendance year, and our final year here where we were on the rise. And that's described in the title as well. The other thing I've incorporated into this chart is a built-in average sort of area box that is actually a piece uh, of this chart that's embedded into the chart. It's not just a box that I've inserted over it. So I'm going to show you how to do that technique in this series of videos. So stay tuned to the rest of the videos and follow along, open your Excel file and create this document from scratch for your own museum's attendance. I think your audience will really enjoy it.